Hey, Min here. Um, just want to show you something really cool. So I am working on something for the work, and I figure out. I was trying to figure out how to, you know, get this head, get the IP address for these headless uh, Raspberry Pis. Uh, I was trying to build some endpoints without going to DHCP server. So I thought, it wouldn't it be great to have the IP addresses rotating through these small LT LCD displays, and and then I could just look at it and see the IP address. So. So that's what I thought, yeah, that's great. I'll just buy some of these uh, 16 by two LCD displays and I ordered some of them from my Amazon and here they are. The best thing about this is that I don't even have to solder. This thing is, this thing is great. You don't have to solder, you just hook it up and really quickly we can get this thing running just like that. So let's get started. So the only thing I need to do is grab one of these and the cool thing about this is that these have the I2C chip on there. Basically, it's a serial chip that instead of using all the GPIO pins here, we just need four pins, the ground voltage, the five volts, the serial data, serial clock, and just have to connect to those four there. And I got these from Amazon, so I got some patch cords that are female to female. And I'll get four here. And the only thing we have to do is connect this thing up. Um, let's see, ground. Well, it's just it doesn't really matter what color and everything because um, you know we just have four cables here, and you just connect them up. Okay, just make sure you match it up. And here's where I pulled in my cheat sheet. Five volt. It's located at uh, pin two. So pin one starts here. P one. So um, pin two is the upper one, so black is ground. So let's do ground first on the last pin here. And white is pin, is five volts, which is pin two. And pin three and five are data. Three, and five gray is three. And five is, there you go, double check. Okay, so that should be it. Only thing I need to do is plug, this one is a copy of that one here. So plug this thing in here. Give it a power. Oh, I should plug in ethernet cable too. So when it boots up, it'll grab an IP address. I think it flips this way, okay. While it's doing that, maybe I could put the screw in too. Got this nice screw kit from Amazon as well. So I can mount it on a plexi board. Let's see, where's my screwdriver? Here it is. While it's booting up. Hopefully we get an IP address. Look at that. Let's get the, uh, and it's cycling through. And I have an IP address is 10.0.0.116 and cycling through the two interfaces. This one, I added a uh, wireless. So it actually cycles through the wireless LAN. There it is, done. All right, have a good day.